hello again everybody, welcome to another video, we're uh, continuing our escort quest. Uh, on this one we're going to get the underside of the car uh, cleaned up and seam sealed and undercoated with Gravitex. As you can see in the background, Gravitex is all out and ready. The job's already been done, we're all happy with that. Uh, first of all I want to say thank you to my nephew Ray, he's in the video, you'll, uh, you'll see him say hello in just a sec. Say hi Ray. <laughs> hi Ray. <laughs> and uh, he's come down for the weekend to help out with working on the car and Aid is with us as well so you'll see Aid wandering around wondering what to do because he's no longer behind the camera <laughs> so Ray's taking a bit of that uh, you'll see Ray's the one with the um, instructor written across his back and he bought us a present as well so a JDM top is a nod to our little Mazda and that's um, look on Instagram for JDM they're a, a group of Japanese car enthusiasts if they're very popular so I hope you enjoy hope you um if you're a watcher not a subscriber as always please do subscribe and please like and comment and all the rest of that to get the uh, get the youtube hits go in and get the channel growing that's fantastic thanks a lot see you at the end so we're as far as this now getting the the cars up on the side ready to be seam sealed i wanted to show you guys something you've, you've seen me before uh put this together so this is a year January now, so what were we, February, March, it was a year, so it says 12, 30, 40, 15 months, 16 months of weather this has had. That's supposed to be two pack epoxy. That's um, a single pack epoxy, allegedly. That's the copper well-through primer. That's normal Halfords primer. That's HB body, but to be fair, that was painted onto already a rusted panel. I was just curious to see how that would work. This is the Halfords well-through primer. So my initial plan with the car was to put Halford's weld through on it while I was just to keep the rot off and then clean it all off and put two pack epoxy on it before I seam sealed it. I'm sticking with it. I don't see why I should take that off now if that's so good. So the first thing I'm going to do is take, is take some of this off to see, make sure that rust isn't just creeping underneath and not seeing it. So that's the first challenge is to remove a bit of this, see what's like behind. If that's still fresh metal behind there, then happy days, we will leave it on the car and we'll work with it. And I've, I've cleaned all the, the car back up because it's all, it's all cleaned up here now. I've had grinders and what have you in there just to clean that back to clean metal and given it a good coating of the Halford Special. So let's see what's beyond, underneath there. If that's clean, brilliant, we will seam seal what we got. Right, okay, let's give this a scratch and see what we got underneath it. It's quite difficult to get it off, so that's also a good sign. And that looks like fresh steel underneath there, so it's not harbouring anything nasty. So that's very good news. What's even also good news is you can see around the edge here where it's oversprayed, the rust hasn't even crept into it, and we've just got it's, it's just stayed on the edge of it. So I'm making the presumption that this is this is good because of the high zinc content. I think it's like 60% zinc. So this is the stuff. Good old Halford. Halford just started sponsoring me. What does it say on there? It doesn't say what percentage it is, but it must be it must be a high percentage of zinc in there, which makes it that's why it's well through primer. But that high, that high percentage of zinc is effectively sort of like cold galvanising the metal. And I can't see it. I, I, I think that's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So that's good news. So that means that the underside of the car has almost been galvanised. And that's about as good as you can get for the, for the project. So what we're going to do next is have a go do some seam sealing. So we've got this um, HB body seam sealer. And we'll have a go at giving all the seams a coating, especially down there, uh, sort of seems like that. I'm going to give that a bit of a tap in first. When that's all done and gone off, we're going to then use this Gravitex. I've not used this stuff before, so I've done the usual YouTubing, and the trick seems to be you shove it in a bucket of hot water before you use it, and then uh, it should flow quite nicely. I've not used this before in a, a gun like this. I've always used a brushable seam sealer. So this is a, a new one for me. 
So let's see how we get on. The plan is to squish it along and then sort of brush it in. I'm starting with a bit of the car which I'm never really going to see again. So if it looks horrendous, <laughs> we can practice. So let's give it a go and see where we get. Ooh, it's runny. Let's see what that bit looks like after the brushing. Yeah. <laughs> it got away from me. That's not too horrendous. Yeah, I think we can work with that. Okay, let's carry on. So many seams. It's, it's never ending. Look at that. We've run out. You need to come back to this bit when you get some more. Yeah. Right, let's find my tub of brushable seam sealer and finish it off with that. Oh, I see. We ran out of the stuff in the tube, so we've gone back to the old uh, brushable seam sealer. So, you, Paul, brushable seam sealer. Let's do the old school way. Stick your fingers in that. <laughs> Why don't we can get this into a silicone tube? So, I have one of my cunning plans. Whether it's going to work or not. If I can get the plunger out of this by pushing it back out and pack it full of the seam sealer brushable stuff and then we can use it because it is better to be able to pump it out than using it straight out the tin. So first thing let's see if we can push that out of there. Yes we can! Ah. Right okay so you just shovel that into there and and away to go. That's working. Happy days.
Right, the seam seal is all done. Looks horrendous. But uh, hopefully that'll disappear under a coat of Gravitex. So we're all masked up to get the... So it doesn't go everywhere. I've never used this stuff before, so this is a learning curve. So let's have a go, see what happens. This has been warmed up while we were uh, masking up the car. Give it a whirl and see what happens. We'll practice on something first. That can be a victim. <laughs> Bit of cardboard over there. Let's try let's practice on that first. Eh? Ooh. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> Where should we start then? Start up in the arc, either. That's fantastic. I like that. Yeah, get a close look, close up on that lead. That's gone in there, really nice. Yeah, it looks like proper under seal, like a factory does. Excellent, right. Let's do the rest. Doesn't that make you feel better when you look at a car that's all clean and one colour? That's incredible. I'm well happy with this Gravitech stuff. It's uh, very easy to use. goes on very easy. And the spray and applicator thingy, which is down there now, that worked a treat. So some have complained about them blocking up, but I think the, the key is warming them up, in the, get them in the hot water first. And that is really... Worked very nicely indeed. I am, um, as you can probably tell, a happy bunny. That has gone very nicely. Very pleased with this Gravitech stuff. I've used two and a half of these, I would say. It's about, well, about two and a third, perhaps, to do that. So it covers very, very nicely. And it's hidden all our hideous <laughs> um, seam sealing. So that, that looks a lot fresher now. Two-piece out, please. Uh -huh. There's Ray hiding over there. <laughs> right there we go excellent thank you very much for watching uh, that's all done as you can tell now it's been a couple of days since that was done so I'm even starting to mock up bits of uh, suspension on there and I've got uh, an axle cleaned up and tidied up there that's that's the cone axle that came with it so I've just cleaned that up and give it a lick of paint just to make it a bit easier to handle I am hoping to get an English axle organized on there I've got sort of bits of an English axle here already which will We've seen in a previous video with the, the diff which has quite uh, fallen a bit so I'm hoping a, a, a mate of mine who used to rally a Mark II he's got a couple of diffs there I'm going to have a look at and hopefully pick those up and a couple of other bits of bobs hopefully to get the car rolling so for the, t for the sh short term I'm going to get that axle chucked on it and get some the front struts all, all ready so get the car rolling I am hoping to get it to the car show in Singleton 
for May the 1st. So if you're going to the Singleton Car Show, hopefully this will be there in some shape or another. Uh, if we can get a, a trailer hired in time and he'd get his van back on the road, which currently needs an MOT. Uh, so if, all, if everything lines up, then we'll be at the uh, car show with this. It, we tend to be at the car show anyway, but hopefully this will be with us as well. And uh, so if you are going, please go up, please come over and say hello and have a chat about uh, what you think of the channel and what you think we can do with the channel and just have a general chat about cars. Okay, once again, thank you very much for watching. The, uh, for the comments and the, and the likes and, the, and every, what you're saying is, is very, very encouraging. It's, it's great. It, helps, it gives me boost to carry on with the project. <coughs> like, uh, like any project, they, they, it peaks and troughs with enthusiasm. So you guys are helping my enthusiasm along the way. So that's much appreciated.